What's up, everybody? Thank you for watching again this week. Did you know, if you're watching this today for a Monday minute, that today is National Grammar Day? Oh, a holiday after my own heart. Now, some of you, I know, could not care less about that. And some of you are like, yes, please tell my friends to spell this word right. I don't know where you land on that spectrum, but it reminds me of some of what we see from Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount, that you must be perfect or be holy as your heavenly Father is holy. Guys, we are called to strive for perfection and to strive for holiness. And yet there is good news that even though none of us are going to be perfect with grammar, and certainly none of us are perfect before God, we serve a God who is gracious, who calls us to perfection and calls us to work toward that goal. And yet at the same time, he offers us grace. So I want to encourage you this week to strive to do what's right before God in all things. And yet when those mistakes come, know that God offers you grace. Admit your mistakes, confess your sins, and trust in the God who offers grace and forgiveness. That is good news today. And while you're at it, if you want to, if you want to rant, go ahead and drop in the comments what are your grammar pet peeves, and we can just sort of comfort each other with that. All right? I love you guys. Have a great week.